Hey teacher Goyne, in our today's video, we will talk about simplifying radicals. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Simplify the following radicals. In number 1, we are given square root of 16 x, y. So in extracting this one, we need to know whether the given radicands or the expression inside the radical is a perfect square. Here, only 16 is a perfect square. So we can extract the square root. The square root of 16 is 4. So we will put that outside the radical sign. And since x and y are not perfect square, it will remain inside the radical sign. Meaning, the answer in number 1 is simply 4 times the square root of xy. Now let us move on with item number 2. For number 2, we are given the square root of 48, x squared, y raised to 3. 48 is not a perfect square. Well, x squared is a perfect square. y cubed is not a perfect square. Pero meron tayong way para simplify ito. We can factor out 48 wherein one of the factors must be a perfect square. And the factors are 16 times 3. We're in 16 is a perfect square. And we will copy x square. Next, we will try to factor out y, y cubed as y square times y. As you can see, we can get the square root of 16, x square, and y square. Now let's simplify. The square root of 16 is 4. The square root of x square is x. And by the way, guys, the invisible index here is 2. So to get the square root of the variable, what I can say that is that all you need to do is to divide the exponent by the index. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Okay? Next, for the y variable, y square, the square root of y square is y. And as you can see, 3 and y will remain inside the radical sign. Meaning, the correct answer for item number 2 is 4xy times 3y. So let me encircle this one and this one. Next, number 3. We are given the cube root of 16, x raised to the fourth power. 16 is a perfect square, therefore, we cannot easily extract the cube root of 16. Pero meron tayong way. Simplify factoring 16, wherein one of the factors must be perfect cube. So that is 8 times 2, because 8 is a perfect cube. While this x to the 4th power can be factored out as x cubed times x. Extract the cube root of 8, which is 2. The cube root of x cubed, 3 divided by 3, is x raised to 1, or x. And as you can see, the radicands inside the radical is 8, is 2, and x. Meaning, the simplified form of number 3 is simply 2x times the cube root of 2x. Let us go with item number 4. For number 4, we are given the cube root of 32, x raised to 3, y raised to 5. Here, we can factor out 32. The factors are 8 times 4. Factor out the cube root of 8 times 4, because 8 is a perfect, perfect cube. This one is a perfect cube, so it will remain x cubed. For the y variable, that is y cube times y square. Now, let us extract the cube root of these expressions. Cube root of 8 is 2. The cube root of x cubed is x. The cube root of y cubed is y. And all of those radicands na walang underline ay matitira sa loob. That is the cube root of 4 
y square. And this is the answer, guys. Last, we have the cube root of 81 m square n. So dito, the factors are Maganda rin kasi dito, dito guys, is that you need to memorize the perfect cubes at yung perfect square. Parang siya yung sa mga basics ng simplifying radicals. We can factor out 81 as 27 times 3 because 27 is a perfect cube. While m square and n, wala na siyang factor. So that is m square n. Extract this. The cube root 27 is 3. Then copy this expression times the cube root of 3 m square n. And this is the answer, guys. Now, it's your turn to try and answer item number 6. We have the square root of 27, x square, and y. So, guys, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!